hi guys in this video we are going to discuss the structure of what the dicot and monocot stem so let's start with it in dicots the outermost layer is known as epidermis so this is first major part that is epidermis it is made up of cuticle okay cuticle is the waxy layer on epidermis which helps in reducing the loss of water by transpiration okay the next part of the epidermis is stomata okay so in dicots they have stomata in the epidermis okay which is the aperture which helps in what exchange of gases then you have third part that is can you see the hair like structures here these are nothing but multicellular hair like structure these are known as trichomes okay so the third part of epidermis is trichomes okay so three parts of epidermis then next hypodermis in dicot stem is made up of cholenchyma so you have some layers of cholenchyma okay here can you see this part okay then after that you have parenchymatous layers then you have endodermis which is made up of the one single layer okay which has starch granules in it so this is also known as starch sheath okay so three layers that is number one hypodermis parenchyma and endodermis these three parts are together known as cortex they are together known as what cortex so first you have epidermis okay then second you have cortex made up of next three things that is hypodermis parenchyma endodermis then you have from pericycle to pith these layers are known as they are made they are known as tele okay so pericycle is the oval semilunar part okay which uh, this part consist of sclerenchyma okay then next after that you have phloem then you have cambium metaxylem on the outer side and protoxylem on the inner side known as in dark condition okay then next you have pith made up of parenchymatous cells so since let's talk about uh, the vascular after pericycles you have vascular bundles that is phloem xylem okay and in between you have cambium so this type of condition where phloem xylem and cambium lie in the same diameter okay so they are what conjoint okay so on the same radius lies the phloem and xylem then next you have phloem on the outer side and meta xylem on xylem on the inner side okay so this is con this is one more condition you have to remember and in between there is cambium so it is known as open vascular bundle so vascular bundles are conjoint open okay and collateral that is phloem lies on the outer side and xylem on the inner and in center you have pith so three things you have to remember epidermis cortex and stele epidermis made up of cuticles tomata trichome three things again cortex made up of three things that is hypodermis parenchyma and endodermis tele made up of three things pericycle vascular bundles and pith i hope it is clear then next we'll move on to monocot stem in monocot stem you have epidermis in the same way hypodermis is now made up of sclerenchyma hypodermis is made up of what sclerenchyma it was made up of cholenchyma in case of dicots and sclerenchyma in monocots then vascular bundles are scattered okay the the vascular bundle which lie toward the periphery in the stem are smaller as compared to the vascular bundle which lie on the inner side then next you will see the absence of cambium here okay so xylem and phloem is there but the cambium is absent means secondary growth is not there in monocot stem then next the ground tissue is conspicuous and distinct that is distinct okay i hope everything is clear